when I was 14. You know, I didn't have like a boombox or anything, so the only place where I could really crank music and listen to it was in the car. And I would just flip the tapes in the car and just keep on listening to music really, really loud for hours. It takes years of training to actually be able to tune a car. That's one of the most important things about Bose is we have those experienced people who can get in a car and tune it so it sounds right. The ultimate goal is to take all the technical data and turn it into something that's actually a musical experience. You just can't look at the computer and look at a bunch of lines on a graph. You actually have to listen to it and evaluate it yourself. The people that I work with aren't just really smart engineers, they're also really incredible musicians. It allows us to kind of evaluate what we're creating and just push it to the next level. When you finally get to the point where you've got a well-tuned system and someone gets into the car, and when they hit the power button on the radio, you just see their face light up. You can actually feel the expression in the music. Our job is to make sure that we deliver a good sound system. It has to sound, you know, very spacious. It has to sound very enveloping. It has to have all the right frequencies. And you have to be able to listen to it at any volume. The musicians are trained to pay a lot more attention to those details. When you start as a musician, you basically create a strong foundation for yourself. And it's kind of like being an engineer too. You get past the part where you have to really think about the basics to the part where you're thinking more creatively and freely. Everyone's really working hard to make a Bose product a Bose product. Everybody that's involved has a passion for what they're doing. Our job is to recreate it so it's heard as the way it's intended to be heard.